It's a cool chainsaw death. I'll give you that. Right through the head, the way it's shot and silhouette and stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty cool. Hello and welcome to our brand new segment called Dead Wrong. And the whole idea is we're going to tackle movies that we initially didn't like upon first viewing and people in the horror community seem to really like. Are we dead wrong? Or are you dead wrong? Let's find out. And the first movie we're gonna tackle is 2013's Evil Dead remake. And this kind of stems from our review of Evil Dead Rise. Probably got the most amount of <laughs> hatred as far as comments go than we ever have had. It's like I walked into someone's house and kicked their dog or something. It's like, <laughs> yeah. geez, like People are getting insulting and everything. Just because I didn't like the movie. A lot of people do seem to like the 2013 remake. If you go in the horror movie community forums and stuff, it gets a lot of praise. Yeah, you know, I really had to twist your arm to visit this again. I really didn't want to rewatch it. I know, he got pretty upset too. I left Evil Dead because of the remake. Remakes are wrong. That's why I came to YouTube to start a channel with subscribers. For seven years, forgotten horror has been passed on from subscriber to sub, subscriber to sub. When the remake comes, I won't watch it. Let's review it. I can do it. It's a piece of shit! It's not forgotten! You told me to review any movie that works keep an open mind. Why? To honor you, Shidoshi. What the fuck is a Shidoshi? So, initial thoughts on Evil Dead 2013. When we first watched it back when it first came out, what do we think? Ah, uh, well, I remember before I watched it, I remember seeing the commercials for it and everything, and it did look kind of good, you know? It, like, the, all the advertising for it and everything, I was like, yeah, okay. This might be something, you know, there might be something here. And then I watched it and it was a total letdown for me. A total letdown. It did not live up to what I saw on the on the commercial. I think we all watched it together, you, me, mm -hmm. and our buddy Carl. And honestly, I thought it was kind of forgettable. Yeah. I didn't remember much about it at all, which isn't a good sign. If, if you don't remember parts of movies, if it didn't make an impact on you, well, that's a sign that it's not that good. I remember us talking a lot during it because it didn't keep our attention. <laughs> yeah. Google gave 4.2 out of 5 stars. That's pretty fucking high. This is a 5 star review. One of the comments was, story was great. Delivers on the blood, gore, and jump scares. Climax has the greatest chainsaw kill in film ever. Pretty big comment there. Okay, the story was great. Well, I don't know. It wasn't all that great. There isn't much of a story at all. No, it's just a group of friends bringing one of their friends to the cabin to detox from a drug problem. And it's like, well, you kind of don't even need that. You don't need that. In fact, it's almost as you're putting too much there, especially since this movie doesn't really expand on that all that much. In fact, I think it's a stupid idea to bring your friend to a cabin to detox. What if they need medical attention? Yeah. They're going through heavy detox. You need to, they're fucked. You can die. A cabin in the middle <laughs> of nowhere. So right there, the story is not great. In fact, it's stupid. I am giving her the exact same treatment she would get at a hospital. None of them seem to like each other because of this story. Everybody seems to be all pissed off. It's like, well, if you're so mad and pissed off about having to do this, then why did you do it? <laughs> yeah. So it delivers in the blood, gore, and jump scares. Well, that's going to be a reoccurring theme here. The blood and the gore. It gets mm -hmm. mentioned a lot. Yes, it's bloody and it's gory. Yeah. We know that. They did a good job with the blood and the gore, but is it enough to make a movie? There isn't a whole lot of substance behind all of that stuff, right? Yeah. There's a lot of flash, but there's yeah. not much behind it. Delivers on the jump scares. Okay, this is something that comes, uh, it's a lot of things that horror fans argue about, jump scares. Mm -hmm. Some people love them, some people hate them. In this case, I don't really remember there being too many jump scares anyway, so it depends where you define it as a jump scare. Our opinion has always been jump scares are like the worst thing in a horror movie. Yeah. It's all about the tension building that may lead up to a jump scare or may lead up to not a jump scare, but jump scares alone, again, don't make 
horror great. It's a cheap device. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it only really works if you keep that to a minimum. Yeah, and one or two in a movie. Yeah, exactly. And you also have to have a very good buildup to have a jump scare effective. You, right. You need the payoff. It's not about the jump scare. It's about the buildup to the jump scare. Exactly. Greatest chainsaw death in cinema history. <laughs> That's that's one hell of a comment. It's a cool chainsaw death. I'll give you that. Right through the head, the way it's shot and silhouette and stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty cool. Greatest chainsaw death in film history? I, I don't I mean, know. I think that's stretching it. I'm sure there are a lot of others. It's funny because like off the top of my head, I don't know if I can think of one that's better, but I can think of ones that are at least as good. Almost any kill that Ash does with a chainsaw. Dennis Hopper killing Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Yeah. Right through the gut. You know, that's yeah. a great chainsaw kill. Anything from any of the Texas yeah. Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, <laughs> like the next five star review from Google. Gore was awesome. Yes, we know the gore was awesome. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make a fucking movie great. The effects were straight to the point. Characters were not annoying or snarky. They were likable. Okay, so let's talk about the effects. The effects were great. Yeah. I don't know what the hell straight to the point means. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea even what to say about that. But yes, the effects were good. With some CGI touch-ups, which we don't like, but at least they went mostly practical. The characters were not annoying or snarky. They were likable. Okay, yes, I'll agree they weren't that annoying or snarky. But were they likable? I don't know. I didn't like any character in this movie. No, neither did I. I didn't care about any of them. The, the character development was not great. And if you call bringing a friend to a cabin to detox character development, not really. It's more story. <laughs> yeah. That's not character development per se. You watch the first Evil Dead and that little scene where Ash gives Linda the necklace. Yeah. There's ten times more character building in that one scene than there is in any of this movie as a whole. Yeah, and even like when they're driving in the beginning, singing the song together. Yeah. yeah. They're all together and they're all in it mm -hmm. for each other. In this movie, they all seem to be at odds with each other. Which, and that, Which I guess is character building in itself. Sort of, but it doesn't help the viewer to care about yeah. any of them, right? Because they don't help each other. Yeah. They don't like each other. And it doesn't make them likable if they're always bickering at each other. Exactly. How, do, how do you like people that are always mad at each other? Eric, I hated that Eric guy. I hated his guts. I was glad when he died. I was happy. <laughs> I was like, finally, he's fucking dead. <laughs> That's a couple of Google reviews. Now let's tackle some Rotten Tomatoes reviews. Now, it didn't get as high as a rating on to Rotten Tomatoes as a whole. 63%. These are all high-rated Rotten Tomatoes reviews. They go for it with gusto where gore and terror are concerned. Yes, the gore. We know about <laughs> Again. the gore. Yes, the gore is great, but let's get past the gore, please. Yeah, yeah. well, they do kind of mention terror are concerned. I didn't feel much terror in this at all. No, the movie wasn't that scary, and I think the reason why is because it's so over the top with the gore yeah. where it becomes unbelievable when things start becoming unbelievable well then it's no longer scary because mm -hmm. it's like well you're, you can't put yourself in that position yeah anymore, you can't right? relate to it everything a good horror movie should do <laughs> well what is everything a good horror movie should do well let's break some of that shit down character building mm -hmm. not really no tension building none good story yeah, good story. It doesn't really have a good story or proper story to it. There's not much it. of a story. There is that backstory in the beginning, too. Actually gives away too much. Kind of hurts the movie, I think. Yeah, so then you kind of already know what you're getting into. When a movie does that, where it hits you in the face with this big piece of business in the beginning, now you're desensitized to all the crazy shit that's going to happen further along in the movie. Mm -hmm. So now you almost got the best piece first, and now everything else is no longer shocking. Yeah, and now you're always chasing that, yeah. too. And most of the time, you can never catch up to yeah. it again. And that's, this movie is constantly chasing that first scene. And it was completely unnecessary. Useless. Totally useless! <laughs> yeah. 
totally useless. So upon watching <laughs> Evil Dead 2013 a second time, did we like it anymore? <laughs> I did not. It was I had the same sentiments the second time around as I did in the first. I kind of actually liked it a tad bit more, but I still don't like it. The first time around, I didn't really notice how good a lot of the camera work was and how good the visuals were. Like, it's a great looking movie. Like, yep. it, it looks fantastic. It, it, the budget shows. Yeah, I and mean, I didn't really notice that the first time. The second time around, I appreciated that a lot more. Mm -hmm. But I still didn't like the movie as a whole because there's just not enough else there to suck me in. So final thoughts on Evil Dead. It's pointless. It was never needed. It clearly set out to make a more serious, less campy Evil Dead. I can get behind that. But in this case, the gore and stuff, which everyone loves, yeah. is so over the top where it no longer becomes serious. It's no longer serious now. It is campy without being campy, which hurts it almost. The way that they structure the movie with the Necronomicon, where, like, Eric reads out basically what's going to happen in the movie. Well, that spoils and, the fucking scene. And then it happens. And then it happens. So it's like you're spoiling your own movie by this, this prophecy thing that yeah. he's reading. See the picture. And then it happens, so now you're no longer shocked by what's going to happen because <laughs> yes. you already saw it happen. It's like, way to go, guys. You fucking blew your own movie. Yeah, like, like the Necronomicon should be like this cool focal point of the movie, and it does the opposite. It actually kind of wrecks the movie. Yeah, it's to the point where you kind of wish it wasn't there. Yeah. The Deadites themselves look too overproduced. They look far too glossy and shiny. Yeah, and like they're kind of, they got this fairy sheen to them. Yeah. Like they're dirty and gross looking with this nice sh CGI touch-up sh sheen. It's like, well, yeah. fuck like <laughs> Yeah. And the Deadites, the things they say are just so stupid and not scary. Mm -hmm. Just say you dirty cunt! The dialogue in general in this movie is pretty piss poor. Real people don't talk like this. Oh, you look beautiful, as always. And there's things the dead I'd say, you're not like, oh my god, that's horrible, I'm scared. It's like, okay. Yeah, you're like, you're like, what? You're so loud, you pathetic fuck! And she's in the cellar and she's talking to one of the guys, she's like, Why don't you come down here so I can suck your cock, pretty boy? Why are you, what the fuck is that? <laughs> then go down and get a blowjob for it. <laughs> Why not, you know? Fuck. And if you want to make a serious evil dead movie, Bringing someone back to life with a battery. <laughs> yeah, that whole scene. Is like, like the, the most ridiculous thing. So it's like, okay, if you want to be serious, stick serious. Evil Dead in general is unrealistic and silly and stupid. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's fine. Do it with some charm and some camp. You can't do it seriously and, and do these things in a serious movie. <laughs> yeah. Overall, the movie just seemed like it had no heart and soul, no mm -hmm. charm, no real identity besides gore. Exactly. Gore yeah. was the identity. They were going for like a big gut punch, you know, with the gore and all that, and yeah. they succeeded in that. But that's not enough to carry an entire fucking movie. Right. You need characters that you care about, yeah. that you can sympathize with that you're devoted to, that you want to see succeed. If you think a movie with this much gore, over-the-top gore, would be fun to watch, this movie wasn't fun to watch. It was actually kind of a bit bit of a chore. Yeah, and you kind of, you know, when you get about a half hour in or so, you're like, oh, fuck, well, I'm half hour in. I might as well just finish it now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like you just watch it to finish it. Finish watching it so we can do this review. Uh, if, if we weren't shooting this review, I would have shut it off. Yeah, me too. We love the original Evil Dead movies. Yeah. It's hard not to judge it without thinking about those. We're trying not to be swayed too much by our love for the original Evil Deads. As a standalone movie, I just just this seems mediocre, mm -hmm. which is probably the worst thing it could be is mediocre. So, Evil Dead 2013, are we dead wrong? Or are you dead wrong? wrong.